Hey everybody, I'm John and this is Blind Whiskey Reviews. Hey everybody and thank you so much for joining me today here on Blind Whiskey Reviews, the most honest reviews on YouTube as always. Don't forget, if you like the videos, hit that subscribe button down below and make sure you hit that bell notification so you know when I'm putting up all my videos and when I'm starting new live streams. And in just a few days from now, I'm going to be doing my one year anniversary live stream, so don't forget to do that so you know when that's coming. Today we're reviewing the 1792 Small Batch Kentucky Straight bourbon whiskey. I'm excited to do this one because I've been a big fan of the other uh, 1792 releases. I enjoyed the High Rye, which I'll link up here, and I also enjoyed the Full Proof. I mean, the Full Proof, if you can get a single barrel store pick of the Full Proof, I highly recommend it. I'll link that review up here as well. So I'm excited to do the small batch for you. Let's jump back and see the review. All right, everybody, let's get into the whiskey. As always, the color. This one, it's kind of like a light to medium amber, maybe. I'd say light. As far as... Mm, not sticking to the glass too much. Not very big alcohol legs on there. For the nose. Oh, I really like this nose. Tons of dark fruit. Berry, plum. That smells great. Vanilla. Not picking up any woody notes, but Maybe a hint of like brown sugar behind it, but I mean it's really dominated by this this dark fruit, these berries, this plum, this. There might be some lighter fruits there too. You know the normal apple we get. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I love when a whiskey has like a deep fruity nose. I mean it's just it those characters are just so good smelling. It makes it smell like you're you're about to drink some juice. Now I'm getting a little bit more caramel, brown sugar, more vanilla, but you're still getting this, this overwhelming dark fruit character, which I love. Anyways, let's get into this. I can't wait to taste it. Cheers. Well, I'm gonna definitely need some more taste on this, but at first taste, the palate does not live up to that nose. The nose was great. Palate feels light, thin. I got a hint of that fruit that kind of started to build up and then it just kind of fizzled out real quick. I mean, let me get another taste here. Okay, got a little bit more on this taste. Um, some of those fruity characters I was describing on the nose came through kind of mid-palate. And you're left with those uh, kind of lingering in your mouth. Some of those fruits, a little bit of the caramel. It's still much, it's a much thinner whiskey than it smells. Like it smells uh, like it's it's got much more bold flavor and character on the palate and it, it doesn't have that. It's much more thin, much more reserved. Um, I mean, even now, the nose still smells fantastic. It's just, on the palate, it's not coming across. All right, got a little bit more flavor on this one. I mean, it seems like each subsequent sip I take, I'm getting a little bit more. 
a little bit more burn on the tongue, a little bit more of that fruit character, caramels, brown sugars. Nothing to suggest there's any age on this. I'm not getting much bitterness. I'm not getting much woody character. You're kind of left with that little bit of fruity sweetness, a little bit of caramel sweetness. I'm a slight burn on the tongue, so maybe we're in that 90 proof range. 95. I just can't get over the nose to the to the palate. I mean, they just don't add up. And maybe, hey, maybe my palate's messed up today. You know what? To that note, let's get a sip of water. Maybe it'll help clear us up. All right. Probably be a good idea if I had some crackers hanging around here. Maybe that'll help clear up the palate a little bit. God, the nose is fantastic. Yep. Just doesn't have that flavor kick I want. It doesn't have that punch. So, I have no desire to add water to this. Um, there's, it's just, it's too weak already. Why am I going to add water? Um... At least weak on flavor. Proof wise, like I said, maybe it's 90, maybe a little lower. Um, and if my palate's off, maybe my palate's off. Because at first there was a burn that felt more intense than a 90 proof. Like maybe it was 95 to 100. But then, I mean, with the flavor, it just feels like a 90 proof whiskey. So I don't know. I'm super confused on this whiskey. It's it's all over the place for me. Um. The flavor that's there is good, it's just not enough of it. The nose is amazing, it's deliciously, it smells delicious, which I guess makes the palate more disappointing. Um, I'm gonna say, for me, this is not bad, I just, I just want more of it. And I think maybe I'm more disappointed because the hype, the nose, was, <laughs> it overhyped the whiskey for me, so when it came across the palate, I was disappointed. Um, so, I'm gonna give this, a 78. I think it's decent whiskey. Maybe there's more there. Maybe my palate's jacked up. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Let's find out what this is already. This is 1792 Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey Small Batch. All right. Well, we figured out what it is now. Let's go grab that bottle and we can talk about it a little bit more. All right, everybody, we just finished our review of the 1792 Small Batch Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey bottled at 46.85% alcohol, 93.7 proof. This may be one of the more disappointing whiskeys I've had in a while, only because I was so pumped by the nose on this whiskey, and I was so disappointed by what came across my palate. So... As you saw in the review, I love the nose. The nose smelled amazing, and it almost reminded me of some of those amazing MGP um, sourced whiskeys you can get from you know different distilleries out there that are sourcing whiskey from those guys. And it almost had that that they always have that deep, dark, fruity character to them, and I love that. And this almost had that kind of character to it on the nose, but when it came across the palate. The character didn't just didn't transfer. It didn't come over. It didn't taste as good. And don't get me wrong, there is nothing wrong with this whiskey. It is perfectly drinkable. It's good. I have, I have no problem drinking it neat. I was just, I think I was, it was like when you hear about a movie and you hear how great it is and you go to watch it and it's good and it, maybe it's even great, but you thought it, you thought it was here and it came in here. You know, it was, it just couldn't live up to the expectations. So this whiskey for me just couldn't live up to the expectations my nose set for it. So maybe that affected me a little bit. Maybe I should have scored it a couple points higher, but I'm going to stick with what I said. Um, it's good whiskey. It's perfectly drinkable. It's got some good flavors going on. I think they're too... I think they're a little thin. I don't think they live up to what it presents on the nose. If it tasted anything like the nose smelled, this might be the highest <laughs> reviewed whiskey I have on my channel. But unfortunately, it doesn't. It's good. It's drinkable. The full proof for me is a great whiskey. And I think maybe that addition in, I mean, it's a lot of proof difference. This is, 
you know, 93 proof and the full proof is 125 or something to that effect. So we're talking almost 30 full proof points higher. So I think that full proof um, potency really affects the, how those flavors come across because the full proof presents kind of what this gives you on the nose across the palate, although with more heat and whatnot, but it's good, it's drinkable. And I, so I would say, um, is this worth the money? I was able to pick this up for about $23. I got a pretty good price on it. And at that price, is it worth it? Yeah, it's worth it. I mean, I'm not gonna say any whiskey at 22 bucks for the most part isn't worth it. This one definitely is. Would I buy it again? I mean, probably not. It's not wowing me. It's not knocking my socks off. So I, this is not something I'll probably go purchase again, but who knows? Maybe it needs to open up a little. Maybe we need to try it again in the future. And as you've probably seen some of my sample reviews, I'll throw this in the sample review pile and hopefully we'll come back to it at some point. Maybe we'll see if it, it improves over time a little bit. Maybe it needs to open up over the next few months. But I think it's good whiskey. It's just, it's not knocking my socks off. And again, I was super disappointed because my nose set some expectations that almost no whiskey could probably reach because it smelled great. Anyways, let me know what you think of the 1792 small batch in the comments down below. What is your, also tell me, what is your favorite 1792 expression? They have a ton of different expressions between the sweet wheat, the high rye, the full proof, the small batch, and a few others. So let me know what your favorite is down below. As always, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at blind underscore reviews. You can send me an email at blind whiskey reviews. That's whiskey with an E at gmail.com. And until next time, cheers. Thank you.